Hey Vix, you know the um, downtime that we always have between seasons? Yeah. Well, Epic might be giving us something to do during that time. We should probably talk about that. Back to life. Back to the lobby. Really? What are they giving us? Yeah, it's only a rumour at the moment, so I really hope it's true. It's, um... So they're looking at a storyline mode that will play during the downtime because we usually end up with floating at sea or just a one screen for 12 hours or longer depending on how long the downtime is so the idea is that that is going to be something for us to play in those 12 hours i mean m most people actually just use it to sleep what, what do you think <laughs> is that something that you would uh, play I'd, I'd love to do that because it the waiting the last time especially when we were at sea and it was just like a you were watching like um, a bit of driftwood <laughs> and then you'd watch something else you know sort of drift past but um yeah i reckon i'd love to play something what have they hinted about what it's going to be or no they've just said that it's uh, going to be along the lines of the story mode so probably possibly something to do with the chrome going or it changing to whatever's going to be in the new season okay so I think that would be uh, really interesting, but I, I assume that we're going to be uh, at the event on the 3rd of December. Completely. Yes, we are. I, I'm, I can't wait for that. Well, I think another bonus of us doing that is that if you uh, log in between the 2nd and 4th of December, there'll be a new emote. What, a free emote? Yeah, it's going to be a free emote. It's called Toasty Roast. <laughs> From, What's that? Well, from the looks of it, it looks like something that you can do with another person, but it might just be a one person thing. It's going to be where you're sat down on a chair toasting marshmallows over a fire. Oh, cool. I've got to have that. The story behind that, obviously, it's looking back at the start of the chapter, mm. because I don't know if you remember right at the start of the chapter, we landed on this island and the first thing we do is we run up to the foundation sat on a log with a fire in front of him and we sat down opposite him oh yeah and that is what the emote looks like so it's a nice touch to uh, the start of uh, chapter three or tip the hat to chapter three <laughs> tip the hat tap the man into you now you you play on pc don't you I do. I play with my controller. I'm not keyboard or mouse, but yes, I'm, I'm on PC. You're on PC. Well, the one thing is that you should get, and um, that I won't when you log in this week, is a new pickaxe. Ooh, nice. Why don't you get one? I don't know. It's uh, it's, it's for PC only, but it's called uh, Duelist Grace, and mm. it's like a sword pickaxe. Oh, nice, nice. Um, so... I'm upset that you don't get one. Well, yeah, I'm very upset that I don't get one. Huh. But that's what happens with PlayStation. That's not fair. Surely you know? you'll get something else. Well, a million pounds would just be about a fair compromise, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe you get another remote where you're drinking a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably be it, to yeah. be honest. So you've got that to look forward to. Mm. It's a new week. It's a new update. What have you, uh, what have you seen in your games this week? Oh my god, the chickens have gone crazy. There are so many chickens, I can't even tell you. And most of them are either purple chickens or gold chickens, where you can actually get loot off them and three pieces of meat. Wow. Mm. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna be good. Like, you just need to land near a chicken farm, and you'd be gold and purple weapons all game. Yeah, decent weapons as well. It's almost like Christmas has come early. Oh, well, that, that's something else that we've got to look forward to, but that will come in time. Hmm. Um, yeah, they're calling this week Avian Ambush Week. Nice. Um, so I think there's loads of challenges for it as well. And yeah, they're 20,000 each, aren't they? Yeah, pretty decent. Um, simple ones like catch a chicken in different matches, deal, ja deal damage with the chicken peck. <laughs> oh, so if you're holding a chicken, it'll peck other people. 
There you go. You see, that's probably something Ooh. we didn't know at the start. Like, well, when, you, when would you have used that? No, I wouldn't have used it ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, which gun shall I use? Or shall I use the prime shotgun? Or no, maybe I'll chicken. use this SMG. <laughs> no, I'll use, I'll, I'll use the chicken. Well, that actually explains uh, the first game that I went into. Some guy was just coming up to me with a chicken. I was like, what are you, what are you even doing? I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've seen there's one here for you. It says four, four stories while holding a chicken. Why is that for me, but, Sean? Well, we do, oh, mind you, you got to remember to hold the chicken. That's the the full story. <laughs> Still never going to let that go, are you? There we go, you see. But but other than that, like a lot of them hunting glowing chickens. Oh, use a D launcher, which is one of those things that flings you across. I never knew they were called a D launcher. I don't know That's why true. they're called a D launcher, but yeah. I like the fact that there's the, you got to throw ch ten chickens as well. So not only just like pick them up, but you gotta fling them at somebody. So um... uh, you're just—I'm just gonna box myself up from a chicken and pick it up from a chicken and pick it up. <laughs> well, that, that would probably that would probably work. Or unless it? it's gonna glitch it and say no, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, what if you had two chickens in there and you just switch from one to the other? <gasps> what if we just collect all the chickens, just put them in a box, and just keep picking them up and throwing them? <laughs> Mind you, they yeah, might well, we, we might get pecked then. Yeah. I don't think. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, but they're everywhere. So mm. don't worry about not finding them because they'll be absolutely everywhere. Don't worry about not finding my chickens. Okay. Okay. That's it, exactly. <laughs> but, um, you know, I've, I've not played as much Fortnite recently because the Football World Cup has started. So we've lost you, Sean. We've lost you. I, no, not, not, not lost me, but, you know, it's a major event and I've been distracted by it. But I understand that they uh, have put in some World Cup stuff. Yeah, Football Frenzy, it's called. Um, okay. So they're quests. You can hit an enemy player from over 75 metres away. Mm. No? Yeah, I, I, I remember that um, a couple of seasons ago, like, they had, they had them at um, Pleasant, didn't they? And... Uh, Right down by the docks as well, dirty docks. They had like football pitches when events were on, and you had to do challenges there. You had to score a goal, celebrate, emote, stuff like that. So I think it'll be similar. I, I see that there's visit two football pitches in one single match, and they seem to be dotted around the four kind of different sides of the map. There's one on the beach by Fort Jonesy, there's one near the reality tree, there's one near Shiny Sound, and there's one near Synapse Station. So they should be um, easy enough to find. I think they're elevated as well mm. because of the uh, new season where everything is getting elevated. Okie dokie. So, yeah, football pitches galore. That's it, exactly. It's going to be football pitches everywhere. So I'll be looking forward to uh, trying out those challenges. So I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity with only 10 days left of the season to review what we thought of the season and the chapter in a way. You up for a few questions? I am indeed. I am indeed. Perfect. So what do you think of the introduction of Chrome? Has it enhanced or harmed your Fortnite experience? Ooh. Um, I would say for me, enhanced. Because it means um, when you blob yourself, you you get your health back like one bit at a time. Um, also, you're not as visible as a blob. You know me, I'm all about escaping. So <laughs> I will blob myself and go through walls. Um, it's also handy if you want to go through walls and, you know, shoot some people behind it. But I don't tend to do that. You can get away faster. Uh, can heal cars which is really good and once you've blobbed a car that's it you've blobbed it it, it doesn't need to be re-blobbed <laughs> re-chromed yeah I think it's enhanced for me what about you have it enhanced or harmed it for you <laughs> well I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go as far as saying harmed it I'd be quite neutral on it to be honest um, maybe it's harmed it slightly like you said it is a great way to move around the map and the healing it's very slow though because I've picked it up sometimes to use it as heals and I've found it not not as quick I you know I prefer meds 
for that. I prefer shockwave grenades for movement. I don't use cars as much. I do like the idea that it heals the cars. Um, I, I just don't use it as part of my game as much. Um, and I think the main thing that annoys me about it is if I'm very close to a building that is completely chromified, that I might be hiding behind the wall to get a peek and the wall then sucks me in. But it's not just that it sucks me through, it's the fact that on visualized sounds, it tells somebody that I've gone through a wall as well. Mm. So I can see what it's done for a lot of people um, in the game. And like you said, you, you've really enjoyed it. But for the type of way that I play the game, uh, I, I can't say that it's enhanced it. It'd be harsh to say that it's harmed it. Um, so I'm kind of somewhere in the middle, I, I suppose. Okay. You know, thinking back to the season before, the vibe in season, you know, what what have you missed from season three that isn't in the current season? Oh my God. <laughs> First rifle for a start. I loved that gun so much. I'm, I, I, I miss it. <laughs> the shots I got with that were, were quite quite good and the fact that i didn't need to carry a sniper i had you know my ar and i could carry other bits and pieces because it was kind of like an all-in-one what about you what have you sort of missed yeah i, I suppose the the burst ar was my main weapon and i got an insane amount of kills with the uh, the burst ar um it really i've no idea why you know in this season i've picked up the hammer which is shoots completely differently but I've been very successful with that but I still think if I compared my kills with the hammer to my kills with the burst AR no contest <laughs> I, well I think it's close but I, I, I think the burst AR probably still got the majority I mean I'm not as big a fan of the uh, rapid fire SMG that we've got yeah I like I the stinger much better that was I awesome. did prefer the stinger, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, the the POIs have changed a lot in this season with all the chrome on it, and um, certainly there's areas that I don't go to as much as I did last season. Is there any in particular that you went to on the map? Reality Tree, 100%. Yeah. It was so pretty. I loved it. And it was all like lovely little fireflies everywhere, but they were like, uh, there was just like, a, I don't know. I just loved it. The, the tree itself was really beautiful. And I loved going there. And I liked the fact that I was all covered by all of its leaves and everything else like that. And I got quite a lot of kills up there. And like the waterfall and that. And now it's covered in chrome. And the tree is bare. It's just, I mean, everything around there, even the mushrooms, everything is kind of just nothing now <laughs> funny enough it was a good um it's good mobility wasn't it because you you had the mushrooms on the tree that then pushed you up and you redeployed mm. um uh, the glider through the leaves so yeah it was it was an interesting uh poi last season yeah uh, this season not so much no and uh i mean that was the that was the main area this season where the wolf claws were but they took that out of the game so i think i think there was an issue with that um being overpowered with certain skins but i can't remember why they took it out but they did take it out for a reason because that that was only around for a couple of weeks wasn't it something about being entirely blacked out or something when no that that is that was something uh with the siren skin and the chrome ah. uh so Siren was taken out um, because when you chromed yourself with the black and white Siren skin, your skin would go completely black. And that meant in nighttime modes, you were virtually invisible. Oh, how awesome so, was that? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it, that is pretty cool. I mean, you know, I'm working working my way through the battle pass i'll still get to level 200 i think that's always everybody's aim because mm -hmm. um, you you want to get not just the main battle pass skins but you always want to get to the level 200 battle pass skin i mean talking about the battle pass is um how does this battle pass compare to previous seasons 
Um, I'm not as keen on this battle pass, and I haven't really sort of dashed to sort of upgrade and get the bits and pieces because I don't know. I just find like the the emotes and stuff are not as as good for me as they were in the last seasons. So yeah, I'm not I'm not all that keen on it this this season. Uh, I mean, a lot of people have been after that Spider Gwen skin and really want it. They want it with the uh, acrobatics or rachnobatics or whatever it's called uh, emo. They've wanted that most of the season. I've, I've seen a load of people playing with the Paradigm outfit because I mean that, that looked really good and that's like one of that's the first one you get I think. Yeah it's the colourful one looks quite cool actually. I mean you know I've worked for it as I always do. Um, the the V-Bucks makes it worth it all the time because it costs 950 and I think I think there was about 1,400 uh, V-Bucks to claim if you get through the levels. And getting get to level 100 is is easy, mm. I think, relatively. Yeah. If you play a fair bit of Fortnite, you'll get to level 100 quite easily. It's always worth it for the V-Bucks anyway, because that's just like buying money. It, it costs you 950 and you get around about 1,400 back. Mm. So it will buy you next season's Battle Pass and probably an emo because to be honest that's what everybody's going to use it on mm -hmm. i mean out of the skins if if i was going to use a battle pass skin not that we do anymore we we stick to our uh our uh in your endos skins don't we um but if i was i, th I think i'd probably go for the meow schools one i do like the meow schools one yeah, the variants of it are very good as well. But, um, yeah, other than that, um, I, I wouldn't say I feel massively let down by it because I, I still think the V-Bucks are greater than they used to be. It's probably one that hasn't really gripped me, uh, my covers have. Mm. The thing is, we, we're going to move into Chapter 4 now, and with the excitement of Chapter 4, you kind of always have the fear of okay what am i going to lose what weapons are going to be vaulted what items are going to be vaulted what pois are going to change and what's going to change that i'm not going to like and i suppose if you could choose one item or weapon to take into chapter four what would it be for me i know it won't go through but I, I would like to keep the goo gun because I've had such fun with that and I can fire it quite far away. I can, you know, make sure that I fire it close up and not kill myself in the process. It has happened a couple of times. But um, yeah, it just goes through builds. Um, if you fire it on them, they've got no option. That's that's it. You've got it on them. That's it. You good. <laughs> You're going to get blown up. Um, yeah, I'd love to take that through, but I, I know I probably wouldn't be able to. Do you, do you like the big gun? What, yeah, but what makes you what makes you think that it won't get taken through? Because I just do knew everything, especially with like the, the um, utility stuff, like grenades. I've always gone through, but there was a point where we didn't have grenades. We had the grenade launcher and all the rest of it, didn't we? So mm -hmm. yeah, I don't. They don't tend to go through. Well, everything has like a moment where it's taken out of the game anyway mm. almost everything except for bandages um <clears throat> and med kits yeah yeah but um uh, you know other than that i i can see the goo gun still being in there um do you not like the goo gun yeah it's it's good i'm i'm not a builder but i mean it takes down build so it it, it helps me against builders um i end up firing it at people that are too close to me anyway and um you know killing myself <laughs> um i mean if if i'm at range uh i'm i'm preferring the hammer but the one item that i would take through has got to be the uh hunt and bolt action sniper snipey snipes yeah it's th this season it's just been way too much fun sniping um and I'm not usually that good at sniping, but I've I've hit a fair few this season, and I've really enjoyed it. 
Sean, so. you, you can't say that you're not usually good at sniping because you, you, you haven't picked up a sniper before, really. You never you never really like them. So it's because you've picked it up that you like it because you, you're good at it. You're, you're good at most things that you pick up, actually, to be fair. That's that's very generous of you, but uh, it's true. Yeah, it's, um, it's true. <laughs> but yeah, the um, yeah the sniper is it, it has been really fun learning how to uh, hit with those. So yeah, um, I've enjoyed the sniper. It's been awesome. We've got some really good shots actually <laughs> recently, haven't we? Yeah, and uh, I I definitely see a video or two coming out soon. Oh um, yes, oh yes, on the snipers. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. That will definitely be out soon. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I suppose an item that I assume will be taken into next season. So I didn't really pick it out as something that I definitely want to be there. But will be gutted if they move. Is the shockwave grenades? Oh yeah. Well, we did have the shockwave grenade. Um, the, the grenade launcher. Shockwave grenade launcher. The shockwave grenade launcher. Yeah, was it called the shockwave grenade launcher? I can't remember what it was. I remember a grenade launcher. A shockwave <laughs> grenade launcher. I don't yep. remember. Oh god, come on! It was. It would look like a gold weapon, and you would literally just fire it at the floor, and then shockwave yourself out. You, you got to remember that. Yeah, I'm just. I. I, I it is coming back to me, but I. I don't. I suppose it's... I didn't use it that much then. You know. Oh, I used it all the time. Um, <laughs> my, if I had one of them in, in, the, in the vicinity, it was mine. Because <laughs> me gotta get away. <laughs> that's it, exactly. So it's um, to have the mobility makes a big difference. But you you always adapt to whatever mobility is in the game, don't you? Yes. Anyway, I mean, talking about moving into chapter four. What's the rumor? that you've heard that you hope is true about chapter four there's a couple movement wise it it said there was going to be motorbikes <laughs> and i'm going to enjoy that i hope they're dirt bikes and we can just like rah, everywhere um and flying on birds so another animal that i can i can ride yeah you do like um you do like riding the animals don't you because i i don't use it as it's really weird me and you we both like to escape storm we like to move around quickly but we do it completely different ways don't we <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like you use you use vehicles and animals uh probably the most and i will use i will use the uh grapple glider i use grapple guns i use um shockwave grenades i know you use them as well but you probably use and uh, and the chrome you probably use different mobility. Um, well, because I want to save a slot, don't I? So I'll, I'll use an me. animal boom <laughs> so that I don't have to have shockwave grenades in my in my slot. <laughs> yeah, you see, whereas I have a different mentality about that, because as soon as you've got off that animal, for me, that animal is giving up your location. Mm, kind of. Because he will appear on the anybody's like visualised sounds. And also, he'll probably knock down any builds that you put up yeah, just to protect yourself and just be a nuisance. True, but did um, you know that you can stroke them? So when you when you press the emote button, right? When you're yeah. on them, you 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 pet them. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't know we could do that. Yeah, I, I probably haven't. I haven't probably <laughs> smelled the flowers as other people would say. But I do. Um, <laughs> That's yeah. why I die lots. <laughs> That's it. It's like, oh, Vix, what Save are you doing? Save me, Sean. Um, I'm was, dead again. I was, I was petting the animal, <laughs> and somebody came up to me and shot me in the face. Yeah. How rude. Exactly. So, well, it's good that you're look, looking forward to that. I mean, for me, I don't think it's, it's a, it's a rumor that I think is very true and very likely to happen. There's a lot of leaks about it, but the new map is what is being promised. Um, and it's always exciting mm. to see a new map um, and discover it. So that's that's always something that I look forward to. If the rumor about the downtime story mode version is going to be true, then that will be interesting as well because it's it's almost like 
it's like those days over Christmas where the shops are shut and they're only shut for one extra day, but it seems like they're shut for ages and you needed milk. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you so eager to uh, get the little bit of shopping that you did not buy for a few days ago. Um, and it's, it's the same with Fortnite downtime. It's the fact you can't play it. There's a time that you actually can't play it. The brilliant thing is about Fortnite is up all the time. And when you have those down times, it's right. Okay, what am I going to do? Oh, I better go and touch some grass. <laughs> oh, don't um, do that. No, touching grass. <laughs> certainly, you certainly don't, especially the hours that it's down for us. Because it, it, the downtime for us is obviously like about nine o'clock at night to about 10, 11 the next morning. So, mm. um, yeah, probably just better off going to sleep. But I am looking forward to if there is this game, playing this game. So I definitely can't wait. So, um, what have we done over the last week uh, since the last podcast? Usually about this time, you're usually working on Epic Fridays. I am. How did yes. that go last week? Uh, last week was a bit of a catastrophe because, yeah, no, like you say, normally I'm working on it like from Sunday onwards. But um, the work that I thought I had saved hadn't saved. <laughs> so, oh, no. yeah, I went straight back to almost the very beginning where I'd had to organize the music and organize all the clips and it uh it didn't save all of my 20 hours worth of work so <laughs> i spent the save the save button <laughs> no, no, that, that was... the save button was being used but i think it was something along the lines of in premiere pro it's got like an auto save and i think i'd gone back into an old version of it because there was something that i wanted to sort of copy and paste into the new version it's not necessarily the best way to do it but that's what i did and i think by me doing that i then saved over <laughs> the work with the old version that's what i'm i'm thinking i did mm. so that's not good is it no it's not so did that did that um set you back much time yeah a lot so i'd spent about 20 hours of work on it and it took I'd say about 40 hours to get that video where I kind of wanted it. So yeah, that mistake's not going to be made again, <laughs> ever again. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if anyone else said any issues with the Premiere Pro doing stuff like that. I, I don't know. That's that's not Premiere Pro doing it. It's me doing it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So we uh, we looked at that and we we kind of tried to work out how we uh, move forward from this and make sure that this doesn't happen. And what could we do that would help? And looking at our schedule was probably the first thing, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. Because the, there's two key things that Vix puts out in a week. Uh, the, one is this podcast, and the other is the Epic Fridays. There's lots of other things that we do, but uh, these are two major things that have got time restraints on them. When the news comes out on the new update on a Tuesday, it leaves us with very little time when we stream on a Tuesday as well to record the podcast and get it out in time for you guys. So we are moving our Tuesday stream. When are we moving to Vix? We're moving our Tuesday stream to Mondays now. So that means that we will be streaming on a Monday, getting this together on a Tuesday and hopefully by Wednesday, we are giving you a nice podcast. And then that leaves Vix to just do the finishing touches to <laughs> the Epic Fridays on a Thursday and a Friday. Finishing touches. I love I love how you... <laughs> simple, isn't it? It's no, just it's like, a it's, lot it, of work. So much work. It's very, it's very simple for me when I uh, don't have to do it. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's I love but... it. I, I absolutely love it. And as I'm going through it it's just i'm like oh that's gonna be such an epic little little shot oh that's gonna be wicked with the music and it, yeah i love it i do love it but it takes a lot of time yes yeah, so the one thing um you probably need to know about vix is that she's quite ambitious with um her time frames mm. and i tried to rein vix in don't <laughs> I, mean? I tried to go oh let's 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 be more realistic about this no 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 so yeah, no, it's um the the videos are amazing and everybody should check them out. They'll be on 
they'll be posted every Friday and uh, there's a playlist as well so you can at the moment there's free Epic Friday videos so check them all out and, and their um, trailers don't forget their trailers because they're also quite a bit of work but they're, they're also equally as epic yeah Vix does the trailers for them as well so um, and the music is just really sets the tone for the video as well mm. so there's there's lots of other ideas that we have for videos one of them and, um, we've just yeah. done yeah one of them is uh, all you need is sax baby <laughs> All you need is sax came out um, on Monday, and that video was just a fun one where we found a piece of music that was, well, sax, saxophone music really, mm, and we you. used the emotes that worked perfectly with it. So you're gonna have to check that video out as well. Yeah, because we were doing the emotes in the middle of battles and everything, and uh, whilst we were caught on fire, and yeah, just as many random, cool-looking things as we possibly could. <laughs> That's it. So that's the new plan. Mondays will be stream. Tuesdays will be will be working on the podcast. Wednesdays will release the podcast. Thursdays, Vix will be working on Epic Fridays, and then Friday will be releasing Epic Fridays. And all through um, the week, you'll be working on highlight videos. Yeah, I'll be working on highlight videos um, that uh, are shorter but capture the wins. Um, that we have during the week. Mostly and, your uh, wins, though, isn't it, Sean? Because uh, I don't get time to play. <laughs> well, no. I mean, I've got I've got to keep Vix busy with Premier Pro, so she's busy doing that. I'm busy um, trying to get wins. We've got some good highlight videos, and it really just tops it off on Friday with the Epic Fridays uh, video. So. We've got that. We've got a lot of other ideas, but we don't want to release them yet because there's lots of ideas. Mm -hmm. um, Sean so is a wealth me. of ideas. I get at least 50 voice notes each day with a new idea. So there's lots to come. Yeah, it's quite, it's, it's quite scary. You'll see some of those in the short term as well. But, you know, we're just enjoying the end of this season now. Yeah, we're surrounded by Chrome, and uh, that's going to be gone. And now movement's going to be gone. What do you think is going to happen? What What do you think is going to happen to the whole map? Are we going to get a new map? I mean, there's lots of rumours. Um, you know, they say that nothing is coming, and whether that's a person or whether that's an idea that the map will be empty is another thing. I have seen leaked ideas of what the map was going to look like, and it's... The idea is that it is a mix between all three maps. Mm. That will be exciting to see. But yeah, you, you, you do get occasional bits where they put in old, like OG parts of the map into the new map, like where you had the um, reality seeds that came out, little reality plants, and there'd be a different part of the map from like the previous ones. And perhaps that will just carry on. From what I understand, it's a completely different design, so it will be good. It'll be interesting to see what the finale event, Fracture, is all about. But in the meantime, you know, it'd be interesting to see how many people are playing Fortnite with the World Cup on. It's a massive event and a lot of people, certainly in our region, in Europe, get consumed by World Cup fever. It's The World Cup is very popular in England. France, Germany, Spain. There'll be a lot of um, countries that play Fortnite that um, might be distracted in this uh, next month. Mm. So it'll be interesting to see what lobbies we get. Hopefully bot lobbies. <laughs> love a bot lobby. That's what we want. We love a bot lobby. Love a bot lobby. I mean, who doesn't love a bot lobby? But I think in future what we might be doing with these podcasts is posing a question towards the end of the podcast um, as to what you want to see and then maybe we will make a video on that. We might ask you if you want to see a Sniper's Epic Fridays video or if you want to see a top 50 snipes of the season video and maybe run a poll on that and uh, whatever comes out on top we will do. Mm -hmm. This week's Epic Friday is based around snipes so 
Yeah, that'll be it's fun. gonna be awesome. Oh, awesome! So, this has been episode four of the Back to the Lobby podcast with Sean and Vix from the In Your Endos crew. Make sure that you check us out on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday, and now on YouTube on Sunday for our live streams. Make sure that you are following us and subscribe to us on YouTube so that you uh, get notifications as we're posting videos daily. Come on, Sean. Let's get into a game. Until next time. Love, love, love.